Today we're going on an adventure inside our bodies to see how different systems work together to keep us healthy and strong. It's like a team where each player has a special job, but they all need to work together to win the game. First, let's think about how we breathe and get energy. The circulatory system and the respiratory system are best friends that work really close together. When you take a breath, your lungs, which are part of the respiratory system, fill up with air and grab oxygen from it. The heart, which is a big part of the circulatory system, then pumps this oxygen all around your body through blood vessels. And when your body is done using the oxygen, it turns into carbon dioxide, which you breathe out. This keeps happening every time you breathe in and out. Now, let's talk about how we get energy from food. The digestive system breaks down the food you eat into tiny pieces that your body can use for energy. This happens in your stomach and intestines. Once the food is broken down, the nutrients from the food go into your blood. Here comes the circulatory system again. It takes these nutrients and delivers them to every part of your body. So you have the energy to think, play, and grow. Let's not forget how we move. The muscular system and the skeletal system are like dance partners. Your bones provide the structure, like the frame of a puppet. And your muscles are like the strings that pull and move the bones. When your brain, which is part of the nervous system, tells your muscles to move, they pull on your bones and you can run, jump, or wave hello. The nervous system is the boss of all the other systems. It sends signals to tell the other parts of your body what to do. Like when to breathe, how to digest food, or when to move muscles. And there's a special system called the endocrine system that uses chemicals called hormones to send messages. It works closely with the reproductive system to help your body grow and change as you get older. All these systems in your body are connected and need each other. If one system has a problem, it can affect the others just like how a team might struggle if one player isn't feeling well. 